What's up, YouTube? This is giant 3 here. We we're telling me that I've had some issues with some of the enemies, and I'm here to show a little demonstration of how you can get around some of them. So the first enemy we're going to tackle is what most people have trouble with, which is the Flotsam. The Flotsam will be above you, and he will chase after you, and people will just not know what to do. Um, but you can actually attack him from below by using Beak Buster. So if you just jump or backflip and hit him at the right spot, you can knock him out. Now the other instance of a Flotsam is when it's jumping up and down a wall, and you might be afraid to touch something because it can still hit you. What you can do in this case is if you Beak Barge, it will always last long enough to hit the Flotsam. Next, I'm going to cover the Vent and the Clucker enemies. So when switched around with the Chompas, those two enemies actually end up uh, behind the walls so that you can't see them. And just to show it, that's the Vent. And this will be the Clucker. Now notice how the Clucker is higher up than this Vent is. So you can actually jump over where this Vent's going to be if I were to just do that. Notice how it didn't hit me at first. And then I can also just jump and hit the Cluckers like that. You can actually see the vents on the back, so that's funny. But you can just jump over these, and they won't hit you. You can't always see shrapnels, but you can definitely hear them. Listen to the sound of the song. Now listen as I inch forward. Do you hear it? It's super faint. And the closer you get, the more apparent it becomes. So there's a shrapnel right there. They will always spawn where your enemy spawns, uh, in the uh, X, Z locations. But as for the Y coordinate, they will spawn either at level 0 or where there's water, depending on the level. Um, so you can actually see this one's eyes popping out of the ground, but sometimes that's not always the case. Uh, however, there is an easy way to kind of tell where they are and to block yourself. If you walk just close enough, you'll hear it grr. Three, two, one. And you blocked it. Now, bees are special. Bees are only weak to one move, and there's multiple of them. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like right now. And after just two, well, well time two, sometimes it's three, uh, you can get rid of all those bees. For snippets, most people know that you can just uh, big buster and one shot it. But the issue comes where people don't have the move big buster and they're like, how do you kill this thing? The answer is everything. <laughs> so you can big barge it. You can roll into it. Heck, you can even punch it. And they'll all kill it. It does go into a flip state, and then you can kill it again, and you'll only get one health. The other option is Wonder Wing, which will actually get you double health, like as if you beak busted it. In Mad Monster Mansion specifically, the Nibblies can show up, and they hang upside down. So when they replace a flying enemy, all you see is their feet. You can actually walk over these and not get hit at all. And if you want the health, you can Beak Buster. So this enemy isn't randomized per se, but it has been giving people trouble in the randomizer, especially when they do one health. So this enemy is Snacker, and he will spawn whenever you're in the water in TTC or one specific area in RBB. And actually, if you pet him, he will turn and leave you alone as if he bit you. You can't actually attack him though, just heads up. Now, he will also leave you alone if you're on the crates, uh, or like just on land in general, but there are two ways to kill him. So let's have him spawn. The easiest way is gold feathers. And the second way is eggs. Let's spawn him again. Where is he? There we go. Hold up. There we go. It takes five eggs, and he will be gone for, I think, two minutes-ish. Um, but uh, his health does carry over between the two sets. 
the last enemy I really want to talk about is Big Butt. And he is a typical enemy that takes five hits and goes into a kind of like laying down state, I want to call it. Um, but basically, everyone's issue is that they are jumping into him and then getting hit afterward. So, to avoid that, know that uh, it takes two pecs to knock him down. And so for the first one, you can jump in, that's fine. For the second one, just barely tap him. The other option you can do is just gold feathers. That will get him. And if you really want to space it out well, you can actually just punch him. And that will get him as well. And that's all I have for you today. If you need any other tutorials, please let me know. Or join my Discord, maybe someone will be able to answer. Until then, see you next time.